Diva Dolls, this is Crystal Chanel and I am back with another video. Now today is Tuesday. I know some of you dolls have missed it. This is Tea Talk Tuesday and I wanted to come and share with you dolls just a couple of personal things that are going on in my life. Um, I was doing these videos once a week but I didn't really get a whole lot of questions so I figured maybe once a month that'll give you dolls time to leave questions on this post like on this video and then I'll come back and answer for the following Tea Talk Tuesday. Cool. Hey dolls, so I am back with Tea Talk Tuesdays. I guess I'm gonna just see how it goes for this channel because some people they were interested in regards to um, the tea talk, and I know that I also was doing them every week, and then it didn't seem um, that I really had anything to talk about, nor did you dolls have questions. So I'm gonna go back to doing them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Basically, today I'm gonna talk about a few things. I'm gonna be talking about my personal life, basically, because that's just what I have going on right now. So. If you want to know what it is that I'm drinking, your girl is definitely back on keto. It is a new month, half the month is gone already in the new year, and I feel the best when I'm on a keto diet because I feel like my body is changing and my energy levels are up, okay? So all this is is mint tea with one pack of stevia. I'm gonna go ahead and get that popping, give y'all some of the tea. And I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I already put some chapstick on. That's always the first thing that I do. I don't know why that is, but it definitely is always the first thing that I do. And basically what I use is this, which is a EOS bomb. But next is my homegirl's line. It's Fancy 525. And I'm probably gonna use her lipstick today too. But this is primer and it comes out like in a white bead. I also have this, which basically I'm almost out of. This is the Honey Do Me Up. You see me use the same product, y'all, every single time I do a makeup video. But hey, this is what y'all want to see. So this is what y'all going to get. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing I want to talk about, because I really haven't discussed it much since going through this whole entire ordeal and experience. Um, for those who may not know, who don't follow me on Instagram um, or my blogs, well, I haven't even talked about it on my blog. If you don't know, my mom did pass away. I'm not going to cry on here because I hate when people cry on camera. Like, I just despise it. So, you're not going to see me crying because been a month on the 5th and my mom's um, memorial service she was cremated so we're gonna actually be decided to go back to where we grew up where she was most connected in the states because she's from Jamaica so um, she was most connected back home where I grew up so we're gonna have her memorial service this week um, so by the time you dolls see this video it would have already been done okay so um long story short is you know i wanted to talk about if i was ready about my mom passing um and i wanted to talk about how i feel um, but when it comes to my mom she she had fte which is like frontal something frontal lobe something it's in your head in the front basically she was getting progressively worse with her memory with her cognitive um things that she was doing she basically became dependent and although she was not herself my mom was very strong very independent um kind of hard like hardcore like she worked at a men's prison y'all like for almost 20 years, okay? So this is a maximum security prison, not a jail or anything. So my mom didn't play, and she's a Jamaican woman who was almost six feet tall, okay? So I'm just trying to paint a picture of who my mom was, and just to see her go through her illness, it literally broke my heart because it just changed my mom. So she became um, very childlike, 
um, dependent, but it's really like her sweet side came out, which I also enjoy. So even though my mom that I knew growing up was basically gone, I did see and learn a new side of her, which I equally appreciated. So um, as far as how I feel, of course I'm sad. Of course I am still going through the motions. I know I will for a long time. Um, for me, it feels almost like a relief and it's because I know my mom would want us to not be upset or sad and to live our best lives. I know she would never want to, to have been a burden or anything like that. I'm not saying my mom was a burden because at the end of the day, I felt close and connected no matter her condition because she's my mom and just knowing that I'm one of six kids. My mom and dad, they were married for a very long time, um, but she's always been that nurturing mom to all of us, never one more than the other. Like she, she loved on us all day, every day. So it's like I had the chance to love on her back and it was very hard at times. I'm not going to lie. I was stressed at times. Um, I always ask God why. It's like, you know, with anything else that goes wrong or not planned in your life, you do feel like, why me? Um, I feel like I have learned so much through this experience um, from myself and also the people around me. So it has brought my family very much um, closer together. And I, I don't know, I feel like I became more compassionate. I've prayed, I literally prayed to God to become more compassionate, y'all, because I am a very nonchalant, non-emotional woman and I, I just pray for it because it did cause problems in friendships and relationships. So um, through this experience, that is something that has happened. I'm very considerate, um, very empathetic, um, very sympathetic, and I uh, am more compassionate now. Definitely my zest for life has been renewed. There is not a day now where I, I don't wake up, but even though something may be going wrong, I think about... 10 times more things that are going right. So I know it sounds cliche, but life is so short. It's not worth it. We don't know what's on the other side of death, right? So it's like, why not make the best of what you do know? And that's what you have every day, which is another chance and opportunity to do whatever you want, be whatever you want, be with whoever you want, say whatever the fuck you want, like all of that, okay? So um back to my mom she passed away it was kind of it was kind of sudden in a sense to my mom's been declining in her health since at least 2010 like in 2012 i literally had to get written out of work y'all I, I was prescribed de um, depression medicine i was paid for my job i didn't go to work for over a month because I mentally was just fucked up. I was grieving then when I finally accepted because I moved away from home. That's like the only regret I have. I never had that regret until my mom passed. So when my mom passed, the only regret that I have is the fact that I left home so early and when I left home, I barely like never visited unless of course it was a holiday or a birthday. So it was like I kind of lost touch in the normal daily life of my family. So of course I still spoke to them. We had cell phones, of course, you know. It wasn't really a FaceTime thing back then. <laughs> kind of telling my age right now. But long story short is that I definitely wish I stayed home or visited home more often because I don't have those random memories that my sister often talks about or my brother. And that's because I started a life um, eight hours away when I was 22 years old, okay? So um, that's the only regret that I have. This is the most important thing to me is your eyebrows. I use that strut eyebrow pencil and I did little strokes as you can see. And then when I brush it, I brush it in strokes and that is what's gonna help my eyebrows look more natural. I mean, they can only look so natural because obviously you just saw me draw them on. But yeah, I found out my mom's condition like what exactly it was what it meant and i saw how different she was and that's when i broke down so my doctor told me i was grieving it was like when someone dies 
um, you know, you your first you're mad and then you accept it and then you, you cope with it. So I kind of went through everything. That so fast forward to just around October, my mom started acting different and I was concerned. I told my siblings, we took her to her neurologist and she was basically telling us, hey, this is the disease. This is what's expected. I'm surprised your mom lasted this long and prepare for the worst. So that's kind of when I really like just my whole life started changing y'all like I didn't want to be around any negativity I didn't want to be around any stress so stressful because we were literally just every single day literally every single day we're just like there and it's like you're waking up wondering like okay is mommy is she gonna be with us this morning like Every single morning, it was stressful. My family was here, my mom perked up. She was totally back to like how she was before us thinking something was wrong. And it's crazy, they said like at the end of life, when they're surrounded by all that love and energy, there there is this spurt, there is this burst of energy and they're just like showing you themselves in their best version. And that's the part, oh God, I'm not gonna cry. That's the part that to me was most special because it's like, hmm. It's like my mom let us know it was okay. Um, I felt like she wasn't, she never really was in pain that we can tell. I mean, she kind of um, talked to us like a baby would, like a three year old, two year old would. So she kind of like made noises and facial expressions. So we could tell she wasn't in any pain. But just the fact that she was in really good spirits, really high spirits, she was, it was just nice. Um, she got to see her family from all around. I mean, I was surrounded by family and that made it easy too because I was kind of going through it by myself, meaning me here with my mom, my daughter, and my girlfriend. So long story short is, my mom stuck it out for like a month and a half past what the doctors thought and it was a pleasant experience for everyone everyone got to say their goodbyes get to spend their time i feel like my mom wasn't afraid i felt like she was ready and it's like one night we were just um we were watching creed i never saw it before and i wanted to see part two in the theaters and um, right before, like 30 minutes before the movie ended, my brother checked on her. She was fine. We kept her window open the whole month and a half because I don't know. We just felt like, you know, the whole soul through the window thing. We kept her with rosemary to keep her comfortable, like rosemary essential oils. We kept her music going, low, calm. We kept her candles lit. We just wanted a nice, peaceful, tranquil vibe. We would check on her every few minutes just to make sure she's okay. And sometime between the last 30 minutes of Creed, I don't know, I went upstairs when it was over, check on my mom, and it was like very, 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 very low. It might not have even been a breath at all. Maybe it was in my head, I don't know, but that's when we, we kind of realized my mom was gone. And we knew it was gonna happen soon because her extremities were really cold. Like that whole day up until that time, her fingers were getting cold, her um, toes, her hands, her ears, her nose, she was breathing really shallow, really slow. Um, it was just amazing to see, like you can see the life leave a person and it's so spiritual and <sighs> y'all. I'm not sad that's the last way I saw my mom cause it just honestly looked like she was sleeping. But when we, we after the movie, we saw like my mom, she was gone. So of course it was hysterical. Um, everyone broke down. Um, my mom was gone, like her soul. Let me um, show y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this concealer I put all over on my actual eye. I like doing this because it's like a eyeshadow base, plus it keeps your face looking uh, seamless, like the way your makeup pulls together. Y'all, I can talk about this all day, but I don't wanna like bring anybody down. Just know that my mom's celebration of life we're doing in Dover is gonna be beautiful and amazing. And I am so blessed that I'm my mother's daughter. Like, I talk to her all the time. 
um i had my moments like two days ago y'all i was crying so much like i didn't even look like myself like my eyes stay puffy for two days it was weird so it's like it comes and goes the sadness but altogether, i feel really good that my mommy is with her mom and that she's with her family and that she is free because my mom has always been a free woman like she has always been uh, a really free spirit so she gets to fly around and chill she is she's she's in heaven right now you know like literally and figuratively so yeah hope i didn't talk too much about that sorry y'all but back to the makeup, all I did, I'm using this Naked palette because I like how the colors are mostly matte. Um, what I'm doing, I just put a tan color in my crease and then all I'm doing is putting a little bit of brown in my, um, you know, my crease as well. I put a lighter color, taupey color, like almost cream on my actual eyelids just to give that little peak. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to put more of that natural brown color over this dark because I don't want it to be super dark. But I do like that contrast on my eyes. So as you can see, it's dark, but it doesn't look like a smoky eye. So that's what I was going for. And it has that little peak of the tan. So that's what we have there. I am going to use a liquid liner to do a cat eye. Now, I did say something. I said my girlfriend. Now, that's the best way I can really quickly describe my relationship because even though she's not my actual girlfriend because she's working on stuff she needs to and I'm working on stuff that I need to, um, she has been here with me through so much, especially with my mom. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I said my girlfriend, but I am single as the uh, same thing. She's single too, but we got this love for each other that just won't seem to go away. Do y'all see this? I always mess up, especially on my camera, but whatever. Your girl is just going to keep building. If I was going to do the whole eye, then I would bring it across and kind of connect it, but I'm going to just do a little one because I'm almost out of eyeliner. So anyways, um, yeah, when it comes to my relationship, and like I said, my zest for life has significantly increased, meaning I just want to be happy, feel happy as much as possible, right? And it's like in my relationship, we did have some struggles. We did have some um, opportunity. And it's like, yeah, we can kind of work on it right now together. But I also feel like there's things that needs to be done apart. And that's on both sides. It's not just her. And it's definitely not just me. <laughs> it's funny the way I said that, right? But um, hold on, y'all. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Cause I don't wanna keep going. Next thing you know, I got on a heavy liner, but let me just build this side up a little bit more. When it comes to my relationship, okay? I'm single cause I got things I need to work on. Of course, everyone should be wanting to be the best or not perfect, but the better part of themselves. I know I got things to work on. And to be honest, I don't even wanna be sidetracked by some of these things that I'm gonna work on, okay? so. Yeah, I am single. Let me sip my tea because y'all about to get some tea in. Oh well, I said in 2019, I am unapologetically honest to myself. And it's not that I need to put my business in the streets because I don't. However, me going through what I'm going through and me sharing this, I think is helpful for some. So that's what I'm going to do. So long story short is 
I go off of vibes and how I feel and if I'm not feeling it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with it I feel like when you're single you get to choose who and what you want to be around now if you giving me vibes all the time and I'm feeling 100 about it I'm feeling awesome about it then guess what baby I'm gonna be around you all the time now if it's the opposite of that then you can't blame no one but the situation and these vibes because vibes don't lie and yeah I'm going off of actions I'm not going off of words so one thing I've learned a long time ago, like one of the first relationships I've ever had in my whole entire life, was that you can be in love with someone, you can love someone, but girl, that's just not enough. It really isn't. I need communication, I need trust, I need understanding, compromise, I need like a whole lot of everything, okay y'all? So um, I'm not saying that it has to be perfect for me to be in it, but I do know if I'm feeling a certain type of way more than I would like to then I feel like it's not for me or not for me right so now one thing I have been doing is just putting no stress on myself or anyone that I'm around um I've allowed myself to reconnect with some people from my past like I know everyone says oh with their ex need to stay in the past but I mean it's just being comfortable I'm not saying it's right y'all because some people yeah they can't keep lines. I'm not saying I'm friends with my ex views or nothing like that. I'm just saying that when I talk to people that I've known for years, it just makes me feel comfortable. They understand me. Like, that's just something I do. Um, there's always going to be that debate. Should you talk to exes? Stuff like that. But, you know, these are just people I know. People that I have a connection with. Nothing, not connection like, oh, we're going to be married for the rest of our lives. No, it's just like, oh. It feels good. It feels comfortable. That's where I'm at right now. People be like, oh, that's messed up. You got somebody do so much for you. Da, 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 da. It's like, I only let y'all see parts of things. You only see what I allow because I never want anyone to look in a bad light. But obviously, there's a, there's a reason that I'm not wiped up, obviously, right? So I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Um, I, I, I also am very particular about manifesting what I want and it's like all those things I, I'm manifesting No, it's not a list or anything like that. It's just stuff that I feel the relationship that I want should have So if I'm not getting that why should I settle like just because it's good for you that you think is good Don't mean I think it's good. And I know it's not good. Obviously. That's why I'm not doing it now same side of that, if I ain't completely left it alone, then it must be because there's some type of inch or hope or some desire that it's possible for it to change. But y'all, I am 33 years old. After a certain while, potential is just fucking potential. And it's like, it's not up to me if that potential ever plays out, okay? So, um... Yeah, I got a vision board that basically has everything on it I hope to have and sometimes it doesn't look like anyone from my past. And it's that makes me think, okay, bitch, you need to um keep your options open, you need to get to know someone new, like all that kind of stuff. But guess what, y'all? And this is a um LA girl thing I got from a hair store, nothing expensive. But y'all, I I'm so over like trying to get to know someone new. I know everyone says they don't like that part of the game. It's horrible, blah blah blah. But I really just don't got it in me. Like I met some people um, at a couple events, and I was just like, oh shit, this is fun. It's different. It's new. But that whole what are you doing shit and like hey uh maybe i can come chill and like all that shit no i don't want to come chill no you definitely not coming in over here um yeah we can go out to eat and shit but i get tired of that too like a bitch is she on keto i can't even eat and enjoy myself like you like you think i would be able to so no i don't want to go eat i don't want to get dressed up i don't want to waste my calories so guess what i'm gonna let this sit for a second <laughs> And I'm gonna get my contour stuff out now these lashes y'all always ask me about and I'm not sharing yet I am not sharing yet because yeah you're gonna love it but anyways I definitely gotta say obviously because I'm annoyed at people calling me and clocking me and 
like wanting to hang out with me like I'm I, I'm sounding like such a bitch but I promise I'm not it just means that that's not where I am right now I am just saying if I'm getting annoyed by people wanting to hang out with me and talk to me and spend time with me obviously that means that I don't need to be dating period that's how I take it that, that has to be what it means because how do how dare I think <laughs> that I can just turn people on and off when I feel like dealing with them that's an asshole move right and the fact that I can realize that about myself that means that I'm really growing up y'all I'm really a grown-up so I basically have been telling people like I feel overextended right now um I don't want to do this so I, I don't feel to do that like I let people know this so that they can decide if they want to keep shooting a shot or not but I'm telling you I'm not there to catch it you're not gonna have the same dunk like whatever the case may be it's not happening and on the same side of that people from um my previous relationships they already know like I am not in the mood like I, I just can't I think right now I'm supposed to really focus on myself like that looks like self-care like a mug like my self-care in 2019 is about how crystal feels I used to operate a long time ago on the feelings of others and then I used to operate on what I thought I should feel no I'm legit just going off of straight up facts and if I feel some type of way um whether it be good or bad I'm gonna do that if it's bad i'm gonna get rid of that feeling somehow if i can or uh handle it and cope with it the best way if i can't but if i can get rid of it if you're like a person and you're giving me bad vibes i can get rid of you so you're gone like that's how my 2019 is shaping up to be and i'm not mad at it let me sip this tea <laughs> okay so I'm waiting for this to get gummy. Whenever it gets like gummy, that's when you're ready to go ahead and put it on. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get my Ben Nye powder and my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm but I don't feel guilty anymore for liking what I like. Um, I even started like being interested in a, a like dudes i guess but girl they just be wanting a wife a bitch and have babies and shit it's like yo i don't even mm -mm. I, don't, I don't know it's just so hard okay i feel like i shouldn't have to be making those kind of decisions like a girl just got a relationship can i just chill for a second can i just get to know the best version of me i'm just getting introduced to the chicken like i'm just getting introduced to the best versions of me i get glimpse of that you know so can i just chill with that for a while the flip is going up just the way I like. It's just gonna have to do. <laughs> I am rebuking all low energy all 2019. If it doesn't make me feel good, I can't deal with it. I feel like if if I tell whoever is involved that's what I want and how I'm moving, then it's up to you to make sure you you giving me good energy. Um, obviously, it's about what I do and say as well, but it's all about vibes in 2019 for me. So, yeah, I got all of these palettes. Like, these are my freaking favorite. Go ahead and sponsor me already. But anyways, um, these are really inexpensive. That's why I use them all the time. But when it comes to my future endeavors i want to definitely pick up my youtube y'all i want to just thank y'all so much i have come such a long way with this youtube journey and it, i can't believe i'm almost to a hundred thousand like that has always been my goal but i've been making it a priority like actually trying to upload i know i upload about once a week right now i'm going to try to take that to three times actually let me take try out my vocabulary i'm going to take that to three times a week now the only difficult part of that for me is that i actually have three channels I have a vlog channel and i actually have a channel for fitness and i'm like dang if i vlog if i post three times on this channel a week how many times i do on those other ones i don't want to say i'm gonna do something and can't stick to it so i'm just trying to balance that out but long story short is 
I think I should have at least one haul video a week on this channel and then definitely once a week on my fitness because for me, I want to be showing you guys what it is that I'm doing, which is basically keto and riding my Peloton bike. So I'm gonna kind of get in those details as well. I wanna take it a step further and be very intentional. My 2019 is very intentional, okay? So I wanna be intentional about how I can help women and one of the things that I'm good at, one of the things that I love talking about is beauty. So of course, it only makes sense that I come out with this beauty line and I come out with this um, luxury beauty company because anything I do, honey, has to be like, cute like for the dolls baby the diva dolls so uh i got y'all dolls covered i'm actually um in the launching stages of my business i have beautiful beautiful hair that i was able to source and i have some surprises for you dolls i can't wait um but yeah that's gonna be exo chrissy hair okay so be on the lookout for that follow my social medias if you have not already and i'm telling you dolls if you sign up for that email list you get vip insider access so you're going to know first when everything goes on sale and you're also going to know like the special discount code i'm going to offer okay so what i've been in the mood for lately is just white eyeliner i think it makes you pop and look really pretty and then i'm going to just follow it up with some brown shadow underneath okay so um Another thing I think I'm going to do, some people have asked me on here about merchandise. How do y'all feel about merch? Would you rock it? I don't really, I never anticipated on doing some of these things. So I'd rather just ask you dolls first. What do you want to see for merch? Y'all, my last few videos, I've been killing this liner. This is Night Moth Liner. Now I'm going to use... R and V, which this is by um dang, I forget the name of this company, but they have great lipsticks. Oh, color pop. Now you can keep a matte lip, but I think I might follow it up with some gloss. This is by YSL and it's number 40. For my highlighter, I do use the glow kit. I just think it's really pigmented and it lasts really like all day. So I'm going to just show you dolls where I put my highlighter. Right here. Dust it up here sometimes not all the times but we we doing that today go on the tip of my nose and i follow the bridge on a thin line i like it to be like blended so i just kind of push it in Tease. Let, let, let me give you some teas because you got like the curly bob. Mm. You got these bomb lashes. Popping lips. So yes, dolls, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, Share this video with the friends, and last and most certainly not least, I want you to subscribe to this channel because I'm on my way to 100K and your girl is excited. So I also have a fitness and vlog channel. I'm gonna put those links down below in the box as well, and that's really it, dolls. So again, Tea Talk Tuesdays are back to stay. I'm going to absolutely guarantee at least 12 this year so that's once a month and if you dolls have questions again leave them down below and i will see about adding them in the next one you dolls know i love and appreciate you and as always stay fabulous and stay fierce <laughs>